What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be teaching you an amazing prediction card trick. Let's do it. Alright, now check this out. So here on this piece of paper I have a prediction written down, and I don't know, maybe you could see through it, maybe you can't see through it, but whatever it is, I'm going to take the prediction, you're just going to have to believe me, there's something written in there, and take it and put it inside this box, and just close up the box. Okay, and now I'm going to start dealing cards from the top of this deck one at a time, face up, and you're just going to tell me when to stop. So uh, let's pretend we have a spectator, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, let's say the spectator says stop here. Now I'm going to, of course, I'm going to ask the spectator, would you like to change your mind? Now of course, most of the time, spectator says no. But let's just say, for example, this is a very rare spectator, and they say no, keep going. And they stop me oh, here, for example. Okay. So we'll take all these cards, put them to the side, and now check this out. This is where it's going to get pretty amazing. Now if we open up this box, right, as you can see from the beginning, I had one prediction in there, so there's only one thing in there, let me take that out, okay, that one thing, nothing else in there, throw that away, I'll need to pick it up later, but that's okay. And on this prediction, this card I have here, let me actually Reveal this first, that would probably be better. We can see we have the nine of spades. And if we take a look at this piece of paper and the prediction I wrote, the nine of spades. All right, so I just picked up my box back again. And uh, yeah, let's get into the explanation. So of course, I'm gonna have one prediction written down. You could pretty much make it whatever you want. But of course, um, you're gonna be doing this all before you actually show this to the spectator, so there is some setup involved. So in this case, I'm using the nine of spades. So I'll take nine, take this note with the nine of spades written on it, fold it up several times, and I'm good to go on this end. Now, setting up this deck requires a little more or the same amount of effort as doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the deck, find the nine of spades, and I thought it would be on top, but apparently I did not leave it on top. And now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have the nine of spades. So uh, here's, here's what, how this trick actually works. So we have this full regular deck. Now I go approximately near the bottom, let's say 10 to 15 cards. I take these cards, maybe not even 10 to 15. Actually, yeah, like 10 to 15. I take these cards, put them, I flip them over and put them right there, okay? And I put the rest of the deck, right? Just a normal deck, put them right on top. And I'll take the nine of spades, put them face up on the bottom of the deck. So the deck pretty much looks like a regular deck from the top. And the bottom 10 to 15 cards are all face up. And the card you want to force on the spectator is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so when you're pulling out, right, pulling out the deck, you want to make sure you know what side you're pulling out from, right? Because you want to go into the deck probably with the cards in the box. But if not, then you should be set. But... So you should know that this is the top part and this is where you're going to be start dealing from. Okay, so you're going to start dealing from the, the thicker face down side, if that makes sense. Okay, so getting into um, actually performing, um, you're just going to start dealing cards about one at a time and you're just going to ask the spectator to tell you when to stop. So let's say you just keep on dealing, keep on dealing, and... Um, the spectator says stop here now for example let's say they do not say stop here they say stop later on in the deck so let's just say you got quite far in the deck and you're beginning to suspect the spectator is not stopping anytime soon and you only have a few cards left so I'm going to put a few more so at this point what I do is I start going a bit more slowly just to you know antagonize the spectator to make them say stop sooner before you know we get down here but I mean, of course, you're always going to have those one or two smart spectators like, no, I want to go all the way on the bottom. So I, I don't know what to tell you dealing with those guys. Don't perform for those guys. That's what I got. Okay, so let's just say they stop at here, the five of spades. Now they stop at the five of spades. You're going to square this up. Oh, sorry, forgot one step. At the beginning, of course, you want to tell the spectator you're putting this into the box. There's nothing else in the box. So boom, putting that in there, closing that up. Completely forgot that step. Very important step, by the way. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you tell the spectator, um, you put it in the box, you do the 
flipping cards over, tell them to stop, whatever it is. Then you're gonna take these cards, put them over to the side, square them up, put them over to the side, and tell the spectator we're not gonna be needing these cards. And we're only gonna be needing this box. So what I actually do when I perform, is I say we're not gonna need these cards, we're just gonna need the box. And as I move these cards over, I flip this hand over. Okay, so now remember, this card is the nine of spades. I flip this hand over and I grab this box. Okay, so now in the action of me doing all this, the spectator is not at all gonna realize that I'm flipping the deck over with some random card, flipping it over here, right, while moving the box and then putting it down. So the spectator is gonna think nothing's wrong. This is just, you know, where the spectator stopped, where they stopped. So then at this point, you could pretty much flip it over. Boom, nine spades, however you wanna build up to the reveal. And then you, of course, you flip this over. So you now only had one card in here. Or one, not one card. The uh, post-it or whatever whatever it is, the note pad paper. One paper in there. You can actually have them pull the paper out themselves. That's a lot more effective. Pull that out. And Shazam, show them nine of spades. And their mind is absolutely blown. You're welcome. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you, you know, actually used this card trick in your performances because personally I've gotten some amazing uh, reactions. So I'm sure you can get even better reactions with better performances as they do more and more. So um, all that being said, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below and I will see you in my next video. Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.